All right, guys, once upon a time, about three years ago, I used to have a driveway. Um, we, put, we just put the driveway in three years ago, um, and it turned out great. I loved it. And then we started having weed problems. And as you can see now, my driveway is being taken over by grass and weeds and everything. So I've been trying to figure out a way how to eliminate all the grass and weeds without using nasty chemicals, uh, glyphosate, all that stuff, uh, because that stuff's going to run down and I don't want it to get into my garden, which is quite a ways off, but you know, I, I just don't want that stuff on my property. Uh, I want to use a more organic, uh, natural way. So, also about three years ago when we moved into this property, the owner put the discharge from my um, water softener. And if you understand how water softener works, they use a salt brine uh, to clean out the beads in the, uh, in the tank. Um, and then it gets rinsed out and uh, then it's clean again. But that water that they use to rinse it out, all that salt brine gets dumped out into the dis discharge tube, which would normally go into the drain if you lived in the city. But since I live in the um, country here, I don't have... I have a septic tank. So he let it drain into or on the ground and it completely killed all the grass and he made a long trail uh, of just dirt. It was basically nothing grew there. Uh, that took a couple years for that to come back. Anyways, I solved the problem by dumping it, dumping the discharge into my clean side of my septic tank. Um, I have an aerobic uh, septic system not the drain field. You don't want to do this to the drain field type. But the aerobic system is you have your trash tank, do you have another middle tank for uh, where air gets aerated, the bacteria gets aerated, and then you get your clean side where that gets sprayed onto your lawn. Well, I dumped that onto the, uh, I dumped it into the uh, discharge, or the discharge into the uh, clean side of the tank, which it gets diluted by, I don't know, 1,500 gallons of water, whatever it is, and then it gets sprayed on to my lawn and I haven't had any problems since then. It's been working great. So that got an idea going in my head where I'm going to use salt to destroy this grass here. Okay. It's a salt I'm using is salt crystals and not the pellets. So when you go to your big box stores, your hardware store, wherever they have the salt for your um, water softeners, um, get the crystal salt and not the pellets. So. I was trying to figure out how much salt to use per gallon. How much salt would one gallon of water absorb, you know, until it cannot absorb any more salt. And I found out that it is roughly three, three pounds of salt per gallon. That's quite a bit of salt, actually. Um, so I tried it in a pump sprayer. I put in uh, um, three pounds of salt in a pump sprayer, uh, put water in it, and then I thought, you know what? Let me see if I'll do double, I'll, I'll uh, make that in half. So in other words, in other words I put a, another gallon of water in there. So I put one, essentially one and a half pounds of salt in that pump sprayer. And I want to see if that worked first, because that's a lot of salt. So I went and tried it, sprayed it around in uh, certain areas. Um, and it took about three days, three, three, four days. And voila, it works. <laughs> It really works. So what I decided to do is mix a ratio. Rather than one and a half pounds per gallon, I'm going to put two pounds of salt per gallon of water just to up it a little bit. Um, so I decided to uh, use that ratio, about two pounds per gallon of water. So what I did is I bought a sprayer, the type you'd mount on the back of your um, riding mower. Okay, or ATV or whatever. I bought the sprayer, put it all together, and what I'm going to do is in buckets here, I am going to add two pounds per gallon, so they're five gallon buckets, so that's uh, 10 gallons of, um, I'm 10 gallons, 10 pounds of uh, salt per five gallon bucket of water. And I'm going to let that sit. Uh, in these buckets until it dissolves. I'm going to let mine sit overnight. Um, and we're going to see how that works. 
All right, so this uh, tow behind sprayer, I like everything about it. Uh, it's reasonably priced. It's pretty decent quality, except this connection for the hose for the sprayers back here. Uh, this connection here was plastic. Um, and I know everything else here is plastic, and it kind of has to be because of the chemicals. But um, I tried tightening it on here, and it would uh, strip. So I ended up using a quick disconnect here. Um, I know it's brass. Um, it sh I don't know if the salt is going to affect it, but after I use it, I'm just going to rinse it off anyway, so it's no big deal. So that's the only thing I had to change. I had to use a quick disconnect on there. You can go to any hardware store, big box store, and they go in the hose department there, and they'll have all the repair stuff for the hoses and find something that's something like that, a quick disconnect, but that's going to thread on there better and a uh, better quality. And then the connection here for the pump is a wire, two wires that go, that have two little uh, battery clips. It clips onto the battery of your mower, your ATV. And then here we have an on and off switch for your pump. Now I just connected it to here. You can connect it anywhere to your chassis or wherever to keep this from dangling down and getting caught under the wheels. All right, guys, so I have my salt water here ready. Um, I left it sit overnight, and I still have salt on the bottom. But that's okay. That's telling me that the water is completely, um, has absorbed as much salt as possible. Now, I'm not, I don't know the science behind how much salt and what type of water can absorb how much salt and all that. But for my well water, it, it didn't absorb at all. Um, so... There's still salt in the bottom. Mix it up really good. Okay, make sure it's mixed. And let it settle for a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a funnel. Whatever you have, make whatever you can if you don't have one. And... Uh, Put it on there. What we're going to do is we're going to dump it in there. I'm going to put, uh, this holds 15 gallons, so it's three buckets full. And um, let the salt stay on the bottom. Don't put the salt in there. Um, if you have salt on the bottom of your uh, bucket still. Um, so it's going to take three buckets of water, and then we're going to start spraying our driveway. And there's the salt. Oh yeah, we, we got quite a bit of salt in here still. I don't know why it didn't absorb it all. Obviously the water cannot absorb any more salt. So we're going to reuse this salt in some fresh water. Uh, put fresh water back in there and um, more salt. And just keep doing that until I get this driveway done. Alright guys, I decided to wait more in the evening where the sun is starting to go down. Uh, it's all shaded here in my driveway area uh, because I'm thinking if I would have done it during the day when it was 98, 100 degrees out um, in the blazing sun like that, it, the water would evaporate, the salt would stay, 
but it wouldn't have enough time to penetrate deep into the roots. So if I do it now, it won't evaporate uh, as easily and it'll give it time to sink into the root system. All right, so let's get started. Also guys, before we get started, there's a little valve here. In this position here, you're able to use the wand for spraying, okay, when you turn the pump on. And it just snaps into place. And when you flip this down, then it sends it to the back to spray out the back. All right, so that's what we want it right now to spray out the back. It looks like it took 15 gallons, 15 gallons to do this entire area. I don't know what the square footage is, but you can see it. Um, so we will see how it works. Uh, I know, I mean, I know it'll work, but I won't see any results until about three days, at least three or four days. So uh, we'll see then. All right, so this is day two, and as you can see, the grass is dying. Not as fast as I'd like it to, but it is dying. Um, it's m dying more in, in certain spots than others. Uh, it's not as green as it used to be, obviously, um, but it is dying. Um, I started thinking about that, and I noticed in the video that when I was spraying, the sprayer was going out and not down so much. Um, and it was kind of windy too that day, so it was getting the mist was getting blown away too. So what I decided to do is get the bar here, the spray bar, uh, lower it one notch, and then twist it a little bit to where the sprayers are not spraying horizontally so much, but a little bit down. Okay, so let's see how this works, how it sprays, and I'm going to finish up the rest of this here.
right, so that was pass number two. So again, you know, a, a 30 pound or 40 pound bag is like five or six bucks. At most, I put 30 pounds of salt in there at most. And you see how much salt was left over in those buckets. Um, so as far as doing this, very inexpensive. And it only took me a couple of minutes to do this whole driveway here, uh, this area here. I'm gonna do the driveway going out of the property onto the road. Also, this is awesome for pump sprayers. Put it in a pump sprayer and go along the fence lines. Um, anywhere where you have pavers and stuff like that. Um, perfect for that. All right, guys, so we're going to wait uh, another day or two here and see how this looks. All right, guys, as you can see, this is day five and it is dead. Dead, dead, deader than dead. <laughs> Uh, very inexpensive way to do it. There was another way you, I could have done it was to get the salt crystals and put them in a, a broadcaster, the type you use to fertilize your lawn with. Um, and that would have spread the salt out evenly and everything, but that's dependent on rain. And also, I don't think the salt would wash away fast enough. In other words, dissolve uh, during a rain fast enough. And it, it wouldn't be as concentrated, put it that way. I think this way is better pre-mixing it let the water uh, absorb as much salt as possible and then just put it on the ground like this and it will take care of business. Um, so that's it guys. Five days later and it's dead. Now it's just a matter of time. Um, you know, with erosion and wind and rain, it'll, the grass will eventually just blow away basically. And I'll be left with nice uh, gravel again. Um, I will have to reapply again, of course. I'm not sure how often, once a week, uh, once every other week. I don't know, depending on how much it rains. Um, but that's okay. I, even if it was once or twice a week, to me that's fine. It's nothing. It only took me less than five minutes to go around here and uh, uh, apply the uh, salt water on there. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys, I uh, hope you found this video uh, informative. <laughs> and uh, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.